Hey, this is my friend David. And this is my friend Sean. When I first came to church, I really didn't know anyone, didn't want to know anybody. It was awkward being here. I met David. There's always been something about David that's just like, I don't know. You know how some people have that like light about them that just like shines? That's, that's how it is. Like whenever I think about David, I just think about that. Like he's just, he's a cool dude, somebody I can talk to. He's always been there anytime I need somebody to talk to. And like I look up to him sort of like a, big brother, father figure type thing, so. Sean, uh, Sean was one of those guys in, in uh, youth group when I first started getting involved that he's, he's, he's not hard to miss because he was always up and down. I mean, he, he's just hard to sit still. He's got <laughs> all this ac action in, in him, uh, which probably was one of the first things that, that brought my attention to him. But, uh, you know, then you, then you start to, to watch and you start to see and, and uh, over the the past several years, just been able to see, you know, God work through Sean. I mean, just, you know, change, change and transform who he was into who he is into who he is becoming. Um, and, it's, and it's been a joy to participate in that. I've seen him move from someone who I, I would call as being immature or an immature Christian, right, to developing into a more and more mature Christian. And a couple of incidences that I've seen, and that's a hard word to say, <laughs> I saw, or well, we went to Camp Barnabas last year, um, and this was a couple weeks after he got baptized, um, but got to see him go from a position where he liked to elevate himself above the crowd, and what was, your, what was the boy's name you were paired with? Uh, Paul. I got to see him come alongside Paul and then actually come underneath Paul and help service. And, and Sean become more of a man that week um, through the power of God. I mean, there, I don't think, I mean, I don't know if you felt God working through you or oh. not <laughs> that week, but it was, it was an amazing thing to watch um, and participate in. Definitely transformation and steps in, the, in, the, in to becoming a God's man. I don't. I think without David, I really would. I'd be in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble, because <laughs> I'm not one of those people who. Well, I've gotten a little bit better, but used to not one of those people who are able to decipher the good and the bad. I kind of just went with whatever looked fun and cool to do. And uh, like I said before, like I've always looked up to David as a role model and a father figure and things. And I just watch how he is and. The things he does and like that's how I want to be oh, the most awesome wait I can't well awesomest person <laughs> <laughs> I've ever met I mean that's not really a word but I'm just he's just cool I mean everybody should have a David they, they can go talk to <laughs> everybody needs a Sean too <laughs> <laughs> a period when your father passed away that, that we went from a spiritual high yeah of coming back from Barnabas to immediately a spiritual low. Yeah. I got a call that morning, first day back at work, you know, probably about 10 o'clock from John Pavlovitz, and my, my heart was just torn to shreds. I mean, it, it was, it hurt so bad. I mean, I felt your hurt, I felt your pain. It wasn't just my pain, it was your pain. And I, I mean, that was a whole, I mean, the, my spirit was crying. I mean, my spirit was was torn up, and I, you know, I was dysfunctional for for much of the day. David was there through the whole entire thing, and I mean, like, when I look at that, I think like that's what a friend is. Like, I mean, of course, I had my other friends who were there, but I mean, like, just having David there just made it all the more better. You know, but I think that's the time that you know we're also called to to you know be the shoulder to cry on, be the one to cry with, be the one to pray pray for, be the one to pray with, but just the, the whole action. Um, and then, you know, which of course brought out other questions about, you know, God in general and also, you know, where where are you going with your life? You know, where's your, what, what path am I supposed to be on from this point, you know? He was always there to give words of encouragement and like to pray with and to talk to. And like when I, I think about that, that's what I think a godly friend is. Like, yeah, I've got plenty of friends who... I can go talk about clothes and bands and music with, but 
I couldn't necessarily call any of them up and be like, let's pray. Like, they'd probably be like, you're kidding, right? <laughs> you know, life is hard, right? And uh, it's not meant to be experienced alone. It's meant to be experienced in a community. And, uh, you know, if you're spending all the time by yourself, you're probably not doing it right. Yeah.